What's going on, y'all? So let's respond to some comments. This is Bonehead Trucker's comments. Michael Sorrentino. He says, the problem is they don't read English. Oh, the ones that's mad, I think. He went off. All right, let's start this over. All right, so Michael Sorrentino says, I'm going to do some comments. Michael Sorrentino says, the problem is they don't read English. James West goes off, says, the ones that failed are the ones that made. That's the one that needs to be held accountable. Bad breeding, bad parenting, bad DNA. There's a real easy way to get rid of it are the ones that that's mad, I think. Jack Mercer says the Detroit engine was depicted in the Bible. Revelation says the world will be taken over by the screaming demons and slow moving beasts. Sounds like a Detroit to me. That's funny. King of Bros says real talk. How do you feel about booking freight in advance or don't you recommend? Recommend. Recommend. Stick in clutch. Hey, stick and clutch, you've been here a long time, man. Hey, thanks for being around, man. Thank all y'all for coming through, commenting, for everyone that subscribed and stick and clutch. Yeah, you've been here a while, man. So, it depends. I do book in advance. I, the most I probably go, depending on where I'm going to and what I'm trying to do. Usually, though, the most I go out is two or three days. I mean, I might try something three days, but i'm already thinking that more than likely i'm not going to get the rate i want because they know that they got plenty of time to cover it so they're not going to be too inclined to give you the best rate for you they're looking for the best rate for them so you know i will go like for instance if i'm going i'm taking a good load out somewhere and then from there i found another load to go somewhere else and not back to the house well because i'm i know where i'm going to be in two days then I might look for a low the third day out to see can I get back to the house just in case. And I might go for a lower rate because I definitely want to come back to the house. But, you know, it's going to have to be still decent otherwise because I got time too, you know. If you go out like that, just realize that you got time and realize that they know that they got time. If you're trying to get somewhere specific and you know where you are, the likelihood of getting another load to go in that direction is slim, then you might accept the cheaper rate. But if it's all, everything equal, hey, this is no different. It ain't gonna be no harder to find a load here than anywhere else. Don't 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 take it. So that's that's how it goes. You know, it's no hard and fast answer, no black and white. Like I always say, there's more gray area than anything else out here in trucking well, in life, actually. Let me, yep, uh, stick. Did I say stitch? All right, that's a pretty long one. I like these kind of questions though because you know it's going to provide value to other people when I answer them. I mean, I like all of the responses, but I'm just saying something like that. You're like, oh yeah, everybody gonna gonna get something out of this one. Because someone's entertaining enough that everybody gets something out of them as well. Appreciate you sharing this. Finding parking in Charlotte at night can be extremely tough, as you said in your video. The truck stops fill up fast. That's on the Charlotte where the park video. Thanks, Jay Ross. No, he's been around for a while. Appreciate you, appreciate you. There's actually a lot of places. I don't know if I got a chance to say it in the video on Charlotte, but well, I know I, I don't think I ever mentioned 460, 485. And that's what I do. I'm always looking. Like a lot of the areas that where I'm going through all the time, while I'm going, I'm looking. I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to the ramps to see if there's somewhere to park. And going through industrial areas, I pay attention to see if there's somewhere to park. Just in case, like some other time I had to come back to that same area, maybe it will register that, oh yeah, I saw this around the corner right here. Oh, I saw that. And you know, that, that's benefited me several times, a lot of times. So keep that in mind as well. But 485 and through Charlotte, all of 85, there's different places to park. So keep that in mind as far as being on the, the ramp. And, and when parking on the ramp, ideally being able to get right there at the guardrail, it's kind of good because then it's hard for somebody to veer off the road and run into you at least not directly behind you because they're going to hit the guardrail they got to fit between the guardrail and you to get directly behind you and the, and the closer you are to the get on to the to the road where you're getting on the ramp the slower they're going and just starting the closer you are to the road where the crossroad then they're slowing down to stop so you just put a paper in the oh okay that's that's it we're done all right y'all what else did i have was that it that's it except for i appreciate y'all y'all for everything you do out here on the road it's truck driver appreciation week and you know i know how much effort sacrifice hard work y'all put in to do what you do and thank y'all i just left walmart 
So I'm appreciative of you guys as well. Even though I'm a hey, but you know how that go. We of course we we get it. But I still wanna let you know. Alright y'all. Hold it down, peace. Hervey says his upcoming videos are Which fifth wheel grease should I use? Addicted to trucking. Should a trucker first buy a house or a car? Let's look at Greece. Not this necessarily in that order. I don't know how he's going to do all that. He's about to take vacation. Told him to make a video about that. He says, he's the boss. Just report what he's asked. I said, where's my check, boss? Okay, Hervey, I got you. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Happy trucking.